what was those dramatic event actually in the zona pellucida the multiple proteins these are multiple species specific proteins in the zona pellucida there are multiple species specific receptor sites for the attachment of sperm as soon as the first sperm membrane touch the what is this ovum membrane ovum again a very feminine behavior it is having a lot of lysosomal enzymes in cortical granules these are called cortical granules as soon as there is a magic touch of the sperm this cortical granules will move to the surface of ovum and ovum will release lysosomal enzymes and these lysosomal enzymes will bring changes in zona pellucida and zona pellucida become impermeable to other remaining sperms as I told you the last example that analogy is that there is a female she is sitting in a palace with 1000 windows and she is just waiting from some window someone should jump in they don't tell it but anyway <laughs> now the beauty is this as soon as one man jumps from one window the first thing she does is shut down all other windows she doesn't want many men there you understand it Ovum has a similar very feminine behavior. It does not want many sperm to come in. That will create real mess and havoc. Polyspermy and all the genetic uh, number of chromosomes will be disturbed. So, as soon as the first sperm membrane, first sperm's membrane touch the ovum, ovum undergoes cortical reaction. In cortical reaction, it releases cortical granules and they release enzymes and these lysosomal enzymes uh, produce changes in the zona pellucida and this reaction in the zona pellucida is called zona reaction so cortical reaction lead to zona reaction is that right during the zona reaction zona pellucida alters and it inactivate species specific receptors what are, what are these species specific receptors anyone who knows why they are there yeah yeah, why they are species specific? You don't want to mix a primate with a human or... Yeah, yeah, you are right. You are intelligent enough to figure out that he says that see, the, these special receptor sites allow to the human ovum, right, allow only the human sperm to touch there and uh, get attached there. Sperm from other sources, other than the human males, right, they will not be able to penetrate through the zona pellucida of course that's the good news but what i was telling that as soon as cord, uh, membrane starts sperm and this membrane touch cortical reaction occur lysosomal enzymes come out into zona pellucida and then zona reaction occur and uh, zona pellucida become impermeable it undergoes structural and functional changes and it becomes imper impermeable to remaining other sperms and especially it inactivates its species specific and uh, receptor sites clear now, that is why that in a fertilized egg, right, they find that there may be many sperms which are embedded in the zona pellucida, but only one really goes in. So, magic touch has been done. The first one who comes touches the membrane of the female cell and all other windows or receptor sites are inactivated. Now, what the, the sperm will do? Who will tell me? I am going to see who is really intelligent. What sperm will do? Yeah? No, I'm saying, right, membrane of the sperm touch the membrane of the ovum, cortical reaction occurs, zona reaction occurs, now it's a private matter between the, this particular sperm, the lucky guy and the ovum. What is the next step? What sperm will do? Yes? It doesn't need the tail anymore. It is very, very, you can say, uh, disloyal to its tail or doesn't like its tail. It reminds him of the dogs or something like that. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Uh, look, he's clever. He says he will ask me a question. No, but you have to answer first. Okay. That what thing, what sperm will do now? Yes, anyone? No, 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 no. First of all, it will undress. It will leave its membrane out. It is sitting in the window, closing all the windows. Undress there, <laughs> leave the dress out and then jump in. 
This is very important. Yeah, it is really happening like that. Right? I think this was some simple uh, IQ question. Now what sperm should do now? It has reached there. Their membranes are touching. Right? It will leave its membrane out. It will never take its membrane. It will just jump in the cytoplasm of the ovum only personally. I mean, look here. The sperm has come in right with its tail. And here is 23 its chromosome. Right? Is that right? And this blue membrane is left out. Usually, uh, when we study the ovum, fertilized ovum, we find that membrane of the fertilizing sperm is just dangling with the membrane of the ovum outside. It's just like that. You find some, there's a window and some dress, male dress hanging out. Right? <laughs> a male is not there. Probably has jumped in. Right? So this is something like that which happens there. Is that right? There's an the advantage of this thing. Ovum does not need to handle the membrane of the male sperm, isn't it? Now, ovum has to deal with the sperm only. Right? What it will do? I think somehow ovum does not like the tail. So, first of all, its tail undergo degeneration. Is that right? What really ovum needed from the sperm was genetic material. Because ovum was having just 23 chromosomes. Now, one thing before really I go into further detail, let's talk about ovum nucleus. In the ovum nucleus, there were 23 chromosomes, but because this was secondary ovum, in secondary ovum, there are 23 chromosomes, but every chromosome is doublet. For example, this is chromosome number 1, maternal, chromosome number, okay, I will make, look, here, this is a chromosome of, ovum and this is chromosome number of the sperm is that right now this point is very important to understand right now chrome when chromosome come every sorry when sperm come every chromosome is only one for example chromosome one only one copy chromosome five only one copy and in sex chromosome it will have only x or y but by the time sperm touches it and trying to enter in, uh, she is really not fully ready. Every chromosome is a double copy. So do you think it's a, it should be like that? No. So what we can say that sperm has 23 chromosomes and every chromosome has single DNA copy, not double. Uh, ovum has, secondary ovum has also 23 chromosomes but double copies. So what the ovum has to do. Immediately, it will complete its second meiotic division. How? That half of the, uh, uh, this chromosome will split in the center and if this was chromosome number one, one copy will go to one side, other copy will go to other side. From every chromosome, one copy will be kept with all the cytoplasm and other copies will be thrown out as a small cell which is called polar body. So, polar body is just a means to waste the unwanted genetic material. Are you understanding? So, what this ovum will do after the magic touch of chromosome? It has to do cortical reaction and induce the zona reaction so no one else come. Plus, it should rapidly complete its second meiotic division and produce a polar body which will be later found somewhere here. Now, of course, during the polar body formation process or during the completion of the second meiotic division, every doublet of the chromosome is separate. One group of chromosome get all the cytoplasm along with the nucleus and other group of chromosome don't get cytoplasm much. The, that uh, unfortunate one which does not get any cytoplasm, that is called polar body because that is pushed on one pole of the whole zona pellucida, and remaining the ovum is called definitely.